Kevin. And this is Katarina. <laughs> and um, we're here at Libelinia. Libelinia Venture. Libelinia Venture, which means the Dragonfly Venture. And I guess that they called this name because there's a lot of dragonflies in some in summer in summer and, and pretty big ones so yeah we've been here for 15 days two weeks and it's uh, I find it a bit hard to really really put everything in, in short and, and concise <laughs> words because there's so much so much you know you always find it hard to make a good It's about everything. It's about Kevin, it should be a bit shorter, the video. Uh, but... Uh... <laughs> Anyhow. Um, what have we been doing? We've been... We've been chopping down trees. We've been clearing trees. All um, uh, in, in the con context of forestry management, which I had no idea what forestry management was in the first place and I've learned a lot about it and it's a it's a really beautiful process actually because you start understanding how trees get into each other and they kind of suffocate each other and I guess a lot of people can relate to that because it happens with people as well <laughs> <laughs> what happens in nature is so much another reflection of, of our interaction with each other and with nature in, in, in itself Mm -hmm. So, yes, and then there's the, the, the burning of the woods and, of course, the having the showers first thing in the morning in the, the, river. In the river, freezing water. But it's, uh, it's something that I recommend for everyone because it really wakes you up and shakes stuff out of you. been also preparing some vegetable beds so we've been helping also in that um, yeah and we've been also discussing a lot with Zav the projects that he has for his land it's like a really it's a really big land it has like around 10 hectares um, and he has a whole huge project to to make it happen his objective is create a sustainable uh, place uh, you know, aligned with nature and with the community. So there is like a plan of building tree houses, of water retention, because of course water is something that is disappearing every time more. And it has a river that passes through the land, but of course it depends on the rain and it's important to develop ways to capture water as much as possible, because if it one day goes dry, then the, the soil is already rich in water. Um, and also we're going to be collaborating with the Zav and using his land to organize our retreats. Yes. So we, in the summer we're going to be back here and we're going to be helping out hopefully with a lot more volunteers that we are inviting people to join uh, in doing a, a natural building course. So there is a lot of platforms that we want to build such as the yoga deck, the the showers, the, shower blocks, the toilets, yes, more toilets, the kitchen properly. Uh, what was a few more things? Mainly in the summer, it will, will be around yeah. around that. Yeah. Um, and keep doing the forest management yeah. because making the railing yeah. for the compost toilet that's already in place and making more toilets, um, which will be movable. Mm -hmm. That's that's a, a great idea. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's mainly the 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 plan for the summer yeah and in terms of like a, as both me and Kevin always say it's beyond just the practicality of what is happening it's been really healing for us to be here yes. and uh, the first thing that immediately we both felt is just like how you really ground yourself and how your mind gets a lot more quiet than in the city where there is a lot of stimulus yeah. and um, for me of course, I, I still have a quite active subconscious, so I, I thought, oh, maybe in nature I'm going to dream less, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> it seems it's a quite powerful place for dreams. So, um, of course, there were still processes happening, you know, within our relationship and within ourselves individually. 
We but just had a huge sharing, and yeah. we will post another video about that. About that, yeah. Um, but being in nature just supports yes. all these processes. Yes. You know, it's yeah. like on one level, you, you know, the the trees are so rooted in the ground, but then when you look up, there can be a lot of chaos, you know, there is trees falling on each other, trees covering each other, so, <laughs> you know, there is like, you could always this duality of things yes. happening. So, but yeah, but I really, really want to come back, and for sure, this is the way we want to keep believing, and, you know, more aligned with nature, and in a simple way, you know, like where you go and get your water from the spring, and you burn the wood to have a hot shower, and it's just like so much more aligned with our nature so for me there's I'm much more harmony in it. Yeah. I mean even for, for, for instance just to get just touching the the, the sharing you know even you, you can process or go through something and it doesn't mean because you're in nature it's going to be soft or you still have to go through your own stuff you know and, and and if it's hard stuff or something that needs to be looked into or, or expressed into in, in a certain way, it will still happen in that way. But on the other hand, there's less noise around it. Less is more, you know? So you have so much less stuff and so much less noise, and there is so much more things to do, things to explore inside, create. outside, to create. So yeah, so we invite all of you to take a look of the project. It's called Leap Lean Adventure. Oh. And uh, maybe join us in the summer. It would be a pleasure to have some of you here. And yes. we keep sharing the next adventures. We're going to leave today, this land. We're for a going while. to where is the place? Uh, Abrantes or near Abrantes. Abrantes. <laughs> We're gonna visit another friend of mine that has a big farm and a little girl, which I don't see for almost a year. <laughs> uh, I never met these people, so yeah, I'm looking okay, forward to meet them. Some more of my family around Portugal. So yeah, keep tuned. And, and as always. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our Facebook. Aligned Heart. Aligned Heart. And if you feel for it, we would appreciate it. You can support us on the Patreon page. And yeah, once again, thank you. Thank you. Oh.